time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. This weekend in theaters is A Quiet Place Part 2. Emily Blunt's back, and it is that story. You know the story well of those creatures that hear sounds, so you can't you can't even little do a little peep. Are they going to come and kill Now, this part two actually takes place, like, exactly where part one ended. I don't know, like, if you watched it. Of course, you need to watch it before you watch this one. But, yeah, it ends up, you know, the dad had died. The mom just had a baby. You know, Emily Blunt, the kids were there, like, survived. And now, you know, their place is on fire and they're off to, you know, search for other parts to live. They see a fire in this distance and they go and check it out to see who's over there. one, I don't like scary movies. <laughs> I don't. But this one, I, I just enjoyed. I like the first one. I like the concept of it. And the sequel is one, you know, it was, it was worth, it's a worthy sequel. I mean, it was, it, it stayed on the same theme. If you like the first one, you're going to like this one. You know, it didn't veer off too far crazy, you know, and you know, it brings in new characters so you can get a sense of how other people are, are surviving and living through this. Emily Blunt, she amazes me. I love her so much. I think she's wonderful. I think she, in everything she does. And she can go from being like a singing to Disney movies to playing these horror, these characters in these horror roles. This is one I definitely suggest seeing on the big screen. I know it's COVID time and all that stuff, but I mean, sound for number one in this, you know? I mean, it's all about the sound in this one. It's about, you know, these little tiny noises that just kind of boom as, you know, in the theater because every, in moments where everything is just silent. I mean, they have the girl in here is deaf, so you get moments where you hear nothing and then, you know, you hear in the, the sound editing, I'm just saying, needs to win awards for this. And I see it on the big screen. You know, just some of the visions and, and just some of the visuals that they have. So let's talk about what parents need to know before allowing their kids to watch this. First of all, the language. I mean, there's the dialogue's not too much. It's about being quiet in this one. The worst you're going to get, not really big profanity, is a, a damn, maybe a, a G damn, or an even Jesus Christ, you know, taking those kind of words. But no really profanity to look out. As far as mature content, you're not going to get you know, any kind of sexual stuff, any really nudity. There is alcohol being consumed in this. But I mean, the biggest thing you have to look out for is the violence. You got these monsters that kill, so there's gonna be gory scenes. There's tons of jump scares. I told you I don't like scary movies and it's because of the jump scares. And I was like, did they overdo it with these jump scares in this one? Because I was even jumping when birds were flying off and I was like, stop with the jump scares already. So it's going to be definitely the scary, violent stuff that you have to watch out for for the kids in this one. Like I said, even though I don't like scary movies, I enjoyed this one. I did. I thought it was worthy of, of, of a sequel. I thought the acting was great. The story, the concept. That's why I liked it so much. The whole theme of it. So yeah, in theaters this weekend, I really suggest this is the one to see. Let me know what you think if you already saw it. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.